Hey everybody, I had a request by Chuck uh, to print a print a cone with a pointed top to compare. Will it mount the pointed top? Um, this is going to be printed on the DaVinci Pro 1.0 and the part I chose was the classic rocket by Botmaster. Uh, it looks like he's printed a lot of them. It has a lot of downloads and it's a has a nice pointed tip to it uh, with no fillets. So with uh, just loading it onto the machine, uh, nothing special. I did a 0.5 millimeter uh, layer height, uh, no infill uh, with two perimeters. And let me show you the print. Da, da, da. Well, let's look at that print. So uh, this was done with um, ABS, standard uh, standard settings, didn't change anything. And start at the bottom, but let's focus in. It looks pretty good. I don't see any problems with that running up. There is a small seam line that was in the back of the print, um, but really pretty smooth print. You can see a couple of ripples in it. Um, but I can't even, you know, I barely can fill the ripples. I think it's more of a visual thing. Uh, but getting to the top, you can see, let's see if we can focus in on that. Try to focus. There we go. You can, you can see that it's kind of just extruded. It's a very small diameter, probably less than six millimeters diameter when it started to fail. And that got me to think, well, why why did it do this? I mean, it's still pointed, but obviously not what it's supposed to look like. Um, and I think it's kind of a dwell problem because the hot end touches it. It's not having a lot of air coming across it. Um, so it kind of just melts it up and kind of goops it up and, and builds on top of each other. So one did not turn out well. Um, so I went and did a little bit more testing and I went to printing two of them out at the same time. Um, to give you an idea, this print was, uh, this print, this whole print took right at 13 hours to do. So it wasn't the quickest, but it wasn't the slowest. And let's do with two printed at the same uh, same resolution. Da, 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 da. Not too bad. So let's kind of, maybe we can zoom in and kind of look at that. Again, using a cell phone to focus in, but Oh, can you focus? There we go. Um, so it actually came out pretty good. The, now, the, the tippy tip didn't come out the best, but pretty good overall. Um, to the other one, it's just as uh, just the same. But, I mean, it's it's not bad. I, you know, I like to see what an Ultimaker can do. Um, but we can kind of run up it. Um, you can see there's a little bit of... Uh, there is a little bit of kind of some extra that you can kind of wipe away. Um, but overall, I think it turned out really nice. And an added feature in this one, while I was printing, I was kind of bored. So I put some rice inside of it. So now they're kind of uh, shaking rockets. Um, but that is for Chuck, so you can kind of look at it. And if you guys got any more questions or other things to print, please tell me. Um, you guys might notice on this one, it looks a little broken. While I was putting the rice in, uh, while I was printing it, I kind of moved the bed a little bit, so I did have a delamination issue, but gives you a little bit of kind of can look inside, but it's, it's a really smooth print inside too, so. Um, but I'll glue that, glue that one right back on, but that is the print, uh, so you guys can do a little bit of comparison. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna play with some more calibrations, but uh, when you are printing stuff with peaks, it's a good idea to have um, to to have uh, to have another part while you're printing or a dwell period.